amblyopia continuing our exodus into the ophthalmology mastery by revising the last 15 years 186 questions in uh, PGI ophthalmology uh, let us continue the session amblyopia what is true can online students can punch whether you can listen to the chai pe charcha yes there is a reversible loss of vision amblyopia if you happen to treat a little early you can avoid the loss of vision and it is the strabismus the squint which lead to development of amblyopia and any defect in refractive error also can lead to the amblyopia and if the child is taught to do the optic exercises optometric exercises then he can overcome the amblyopia and surgery is not the treatment of choice but what is the treatment of choice doctor occlusion so in amblyopia there are two images forming so the brain will try to suppress out of the two images one of the image and over a period of time there is a development of blindness what is that situation called as amblyopia exenopsia so amblyopia can predispose to the development of the suppression of the image in the brain leading to the blindness that can be prevented by avoiding the two images forming by occluding one of the eye which eye will you occlude you will occlude the better eye uh, is considered to be the best way to treat the amblyopia even examiner can ask a question do you want to occlude the better eye or a bad eye it is the better eye which is being uh, occluded is what you have to basically remember so how can you do occlusion either you can apply a adhesive patch which is a recommended therapy or you can put a spectacle mounted occluder that is another way by which you can be able to occlude now comes the corneal dystrophies how many varieties of corneal dystrophies that you know so you all know what is the meaning of a dystrophy there is a macular granular lattice fuchs dystrophy etc etc so if you divide if you look into the division classification of the uh, corneal dystrophies you have anterior dystrophies stromal dystrophies posterior dystrophies obviously cornea has got a, a globular structure right so the measements dystrophy reese buckler dystrophy and lischke dystrophy they are all called anterior granular lattice macular crystalline they are all stromal dystrophies and fuchs endothelial dystrophy is a posterior dystrophy is what you have to at least know the classification of the corneal dystrophies once more a little boring uh, classification but you need to remember traumatic eye lesions what is the outcome of traumatic eye lesions is a very important question any trauma to the eye can lead to a vitreous hemorrhage it can lead to an opacity in the cornea and there can be a retinal detachment exudatively glaucoma cataract anything can happen with a traumatic eye lesion so for the pga aims all india need pg examiner retinal detachment is the favorite topic now you know how important it is very simple doctor to get seat in need pg you don't need any teacher also solve the last 15 years aims all india pgi dnb jipman these five question banks five into five thousand questions solve them silently without telling anybody twenty five thousand questions by the time you solve you know what the examiner want but unfortunately we try to first read theory become very perfect and then try to go and solve the questions that's all bullshit you keep on solving the questions identify what you can remember what you can forget bookmark them 
So on the UMedico app, we provide the video discussions of the question bank topic wise analyzed of the DNB, GIFMER, AIMS, All India, last 15 years. So you can always revise uh, the questions, listen about the explanation and automatically you know what are the key areas that the examiner want. There is no rocket science in this. So scleritis, toxemia of pregnancy and central serous retinopathy. They all lead to development of an exudative retinal detachment which we discussed yesterday. Now, in simple astigmatism, focal of the image, where does it form is the question. First of all, we should know what is astigmatism. Then what are the types of astigmatism? Then you know what happens in each of those types. Unfortunately, our ophthalmology knowledge will be so limited in uh, MBBS. You take 100 students who passed ophthalmology exam, what is astigmatism? They are not very sure, right? So, let's talk about it. Astigmatism, uh, typically in a simple astigmatism, there is an image that falls one on retina, other behind the retina. One on retina, other in front of the retina is possible. So let us talk about it. Astigmatism is because of that irregularities on the surface of the refracting surface of the structures in the eye. You have a regular astigmatism which is subdivided into simple astigmatism, compound astigmatism, Mixed astigmatism. Simple astigmatism means because the regularity, irregularity of the surface, one of the foci falls upon the retina while the other falls either in front or behind the retina. Accordingly, you have a simple myopic astigmatism whenever the focus is falling before the retina or whenever it is overshooting and falling behind the retina, then you call it as a simple hyper metropic astigmatism is what you need to understand. Then what is compound astigmatism? Neither of the foci fall upon the retina but both are placed either in front or both of them placed behind the retina then you call it as a compound astigmatism. Then what is mixed astigmatism? One focus is in front of the retina while the other is behind. So that the refraction is hypermetropic in one direction and the myopic in other direction. That is called as mixed astigmatism. So these are the three types of regular astigmatism. What is irregular astigmatism? There is a difference in the refraction different in different meridians that makes a irregular astigmatism. Normally physiologically some amount of irregular mass astigmatism will be there but when you get the cataract this irregular astigmatism where there is a difference um, depending upon the meridian that become exaggerated whenever you get the cataract. So why this irregular astigmatism where on different meridians there is a different kind of a refraction? That is any inflammatory condition of the cornea or a trauma to the cornea while it is healing will create irregularities of the cornea and that lead to development of irregular astigmatism. And similarly keratoconus like conditions where there is a conical cornea that also can create irregular astigmatism is what you have to basically understand. So now you are champions in astigmatism topic. Only that much you know for the entrance exam. Baad mein agar big rank aage hai to ophthalmology le lo, pura pad lo, deeply. Right? Now, childhood malignancy that lead to proptosis, where do you see? Classically, neuroblastoma, chloroma, what is chloroma? Whenever there is any acute myeloid leukemia in children, the myeloid deposits occur 
in various locations. One of them, they are all called fluoromas. They can go to the orbit. Similarly, optic nerve glioma, retinoblastoma, Wilms tumor, they are all implicated. So, you can see on this optic nerve, the presence of the optic nerve glioma and that is leading to the development of the prophthesis is what you have to remember. 